mismatch between training institutions and industry standards has resulted in graduates lacking relevant skills contributing to high youth unemployment rates. According to the Federation of Kenya Employers, 67% of unemployed youth lack essential skills for the labor workforce. To address this challenge, the sector has introduced a competency-based education and training curriculum aimed at aligning skills with labor market demands and standards. In response to these challenges, the Kilifi County Department of Education, in collaboration with TVET institutions, organized a five-day training program for technical vocational center instructors. This initiative's aim to align training with industry demands, enhance skill acquisition, empower graduates to start businesses, and reduce unemployment in the country. Levis Musumba with that report. In today's evolving technological world, trainers in technical and vocational education and training institutions, TVET, have for many years worked without linking the skills gained by graduates with evolving demands of industries. I've realized I should not pump so much to the trainees. I should give them 80%. They should participate actively. The change in terms of human resource needs in our society we need to have causes that are marketable. This situation risks leaving thousands of graduates unprepared for the labor market. According to the Federation of Kenya Employers, the highest unemployment rate is 67% among youth aged 15 to 34, with projections indicating a potential doubling by 2045. I would like to appreciate the government because of the expanded mandate of Kenya School of Tibet, where it has been given a full mandate of training the Tibet Trainers. To address this challenge, the sector has introduced a competence-based education and training curriculum, CBET, aimed at aligning skills with labor market demands and standards. This kind of program is quite different from the traditional program, where everything is hands-on. And to facilitate this, there's a need to equip these trainers with how they need to plan before they deliver this particular concept. The Cliffy County Directorate of Vocational Training, with 42 TV centers across 35 wards, organized a five days training program for over 100 instructors from technical vocational centers at Pony University. The objective was to equip these instructors with the tool and knowledge required for effective delivery and assessment of competence-based education and training, CBET. The, the things we train last five years are not the same as the things that will happen in the next five years. So we must be dynamic and cope with what the world demands. The reason why we found it important to have this training is to be able to equip our instructors with skills that they can be able to uptake the current education system. Trainers from Tiveta and the Kenya School of Tivet emphasized the need for Kenya to upgrade technical courses to achieve Vision 2030's goal of becoming an industrialized country. The global now is focusing on Tivet as the next root path of capacity building, as the next root path of job creation. So I believe Tivet is the way forward. Our long-term goal is to ensure that whatever trainees that we train in our students, once they graduate, they're able to come up with their own businesses or get some employment in the industries. As a government, we want to have a policy where we shall be the first uh, customers of choice uh, for the, some of these products which are being produced in the VTC. As the workshop concludes, participants are now tasked with driving the transformation of education towards skill development and producing graduates that meet workforce demands. For KTN News, I'm Levis Msumba. Coming up in sports, Kenyans dominate the Berlin and Madrid half marathon.